Where were you on September 11, 2001? It's a question a lot we're asking today, and most people still clearly remember what they were doing. It was a defining moment in U.S. history, and today, 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick checked in with elementary schools to see how September 11th is being taught. She's live in the studio with those details. Erica, good evening. I spent the morning with Canfield fourth graders in Austin Town, and they definitely had a lot of questions about exactly what happened on September 11th. And they tell me learning about everything that took place, that makes them pretty sad. What was one of the effects of September 11th? Students in Dana's early abuse class spent two days learning about 9-11. Four planes got hijacked. The Twin Towers collapsed. One, the Pentagon, and one was... A one crashed in a field. It's a complicated lesson, so their teacher keeps it simple, calling who was responsible a ringleader. Basically, just a big bully with a bunch of followers. So they were writing down who the ringleader was. Students watched a slideshow about 9-11 and talked about what was happening in the world when the attacks happened. One thing they don't understand. Why did they get past airport security? Teaching students about 9-11 is personal for Dana. Her husband is deployed right now supporting the war in Iraq, and he has been to Afghanistan. He was deployed uh, seven years ago, so he's on his second tour. Making sure students appreciate the military was one of the lessons at Austintown Intermediate School. To give them respect. Students had a moment of silence at 846. Caitlin Bothier was asked to write what she could do for families who lost someone in the attacks. Give people that were related to people that died money from a donation stand. All right, now some of the kids had a lot of questions about things that you can take on the airplane these days. And keep in mind that they've only ever known post 9-11 rules and restrictions, things that most of us have all had to follow since these attacks. But the students say they're glad they actually do have the opportunity to learn about such an important piece of history in our country. Erica? All right, Julie, thanks. We also have a photo gallery looking back on some of those most powerful images from 9-11. You can log on right now at WKBN.com.